At the end of the 19th century, mathematician George Cantor articulated a new type of arithmetic involving different varieties of infinity, known as transfinite numbers. This idea was so shocking and controversial that Cantor was tormented on all sides by critics and detractors until he eventually died, alone and depressed in an asylum. I'm forever indebted to Mr. Cantor for providing me the language for this love poem to my wife. Tonight, as we lay in bed, I'll be waiting with bated breath for you to say, I love you. Because then we get to play a little game where I say, I love you more, and you say, I love you the most, and I say, I love you the mostest, and you say, I love you the mostest, infinity, because then I'm going to tell you exactly how much I love you. You see, when most people talk about infinite, they mean your run-of-the-mill, humdrum, everyday variety of infinite. That type of infinite known as Aleph Null, that countable infinite that can be put into a one-to-one -one correspondence with a set of all natural numbers, that type of infinite that's equal to all the stars in the sky, or even even that type of infinite that's equal to all the grains of sand on all the beaches, on all the planets, orbiting all the stars in the sky because they believe that the vast reaches of our infinitely expanding universe are sufficient to describe the depth of emotion they feel and the strength of their love. But you see, that type of infinity just doesn't do it for me. No, I love you with the infinity of the higher order transfinite numbers. I love you the mostest continuum. My love for you dwarfs the infinity of the universe by an infinitely large exponential power. It is condensed and concentrated, passionate to a point sharper than a diamond-tipped laser, densely packed into the barely comprehensible space between two arbitrary numbers, and the vast reaches of a theoretical multiverse could not fill the gaps left behind by someone who merely loves Aleph Null. My love for you is uncountable. It can't be confined to stars or grains of sand or anything else that can be represented by a rational number because my love for you is like the square root of two, although it is real. It is irrational and tries on my to wrap my head around what it is you do to me, I can't explain it. The sensation I feel when you look at me, when we hold hands, when you kiss me, it can't be broken apart into any nice little pieces, and I can find no terminal or repetitive pattern of comforting decimal places to protect me from my attraction to you. My love for you is like the ratio of a circle's circumference to its radius. It is transcendent. It can't be derived from any machination of regular operations or constructed with a straight edge and compass because my love for you is the ideal of love in any attempt to articulate Articulated is nothing more than a flawed and fuzzy shadow on a cave wall. And though critics and detractors and last year's slam judges who knocked me out of the second round by three-tenths of a point, even though I got the highest score in the first round, not happening this year, may beset me on all sides. I will go to my grave screaming my transfer and I'd love for you into the continuum. And tonight, when I tell you I love you the mostest continuum, feel free to tell me that you love me the mostest, Aleph 2. <laughs>